One of the big points of discussion we often have with our owners is whether or not they should allow tenants to have pets in the property. Hi, Erin here from Madeline Hicks Real Estate. Recent research indicates that only around 10% of rental properties are pet friendly, with property owners fearful of damage to their property. However, there are some great reasons to allow pets in an investment property. Tenants who find a pet friendly rental property often choose to sign longer leases, knowing they can keep their beloved pets. This could mean property investors are able to rent their properties sooner. In our experience, we have found that allowing your tenants to have pets in the property can greatly increase the longevity of each tenancy. We've also found that as long as you have the right checks in place and also use the right mitigation strategies, you can reduce the risks associated with having pets in your property. When assessing a tenancy application that includes pets, we like to look at the whole application rather than just saying yes they have pets or no they don't. We have a look at what they are bringing to the table. If it's a lovely, well-presented family where the parents are both in good employment and they have a beloved family dog, we believe that this is quite an attractive prospect for one of our clients. If on the other hand, we get three unkempt, loud and rude people turn up that each have a pit bull, we might think that when you add all those factors together, it would be a higher risk to allow those particular pets into the property. In terms of attracting tenants, ticking the box that says pet friendly is a great way of increasing the amount of interest you get on the property. Sometimes you get an extra 50% of inquiries on any property that allows pets. Of course, allowing pets into the property does come with a little bit of extra risk, but we aim to mitigate that through putting specific clauses in each lease that details the responsibility of the pet owner and what will happen if they don't abide by those. For any lease that includes a pet, the extra clauses will include that the tenants are responsible for paying for any damage caused by the pet, including damage to the garden. We're also able to specify the areas of the house that the pet is allowed to reside in. For example, if there's a large indoor storage area downstairs, you might specify that the dog's allowed to go in there, but isn't allowed to go on the upstairs section of the house where you might have polished floors. We have found that tenants with pets are more likely to want to renew their lease as they tend to appreciate the opportunity given to them by the landlord and they also see that it might be a little more difficult for them to find another property. So if they're comfortable, why not stick around with a landlord that they know trusts them? If you'd like to talk to us further about how to mitigate the risk of having pets in your property or how allowing pets might increase your property's appeal, please don't hesitate to give us a call.